We're here in the centre of Dublin for CavanTV.com, reporting a special feature on the Dublin Tall Ships Race. And here behind us, and on the other side of the bridge, we've got about 40 tall ships who've arrived into Dublin for the weekend and are heading back tomorrow, Sunday the 24th of August, heading to Liverpool. <laughs> Okay, I'm delighted to be joined now in Dublin City Centre at the Dublin at the Dublin Tall Ships Race by Dublin Lord Mayor. How Thanks for doing? joining us. Delighted to be here. This is a great event in Dublin. It sure is. Yeah, great. Nearly over 40 ships down there. Um, all just and a great festival around here. Huge crowds of people in today, so it's yeah, fantastic. Yeah, and a bit of good weather as well. Yeah, which a bit of good weather. Helps we had a lot of rain yesterday, but thankfully it's cleared up today. So they're just here for the weekend. They're here for the weekend. Tomorrow. Yeah, leaving tomorrow morning. Sailing at 11 o'clock. There's a parade of sails out, so they'll be all going out in formation, one after the other, at the base. It'll be worth seeing that tomorrow morning. And where are they going from here? I think they're. I, I, I'm not sure actually where where they're heading from here, but they're certainly leaving Dublin and they'll be leaving in fine fettle based okay. on today's. Great, and you've had great turnouts as we well. Have. Over the yeah, weekend, yeah, yeah, we and it's a free event, which yeah, is great as well. Yeah, yeah and it's great. The everybody's <laughs> cooperated quite well. The city and the port have worked together on it, you know, so you can easily cross the river in three different points. So the boats are great, so we're delighted to have them here. And are the boats from everywhere? Is there a good mixture? It's a good mixture of both from Mexico, Ecuador, so South America, South America is well represented. Mexico is here, a lot of the European countries are here, so it's a great represent. Over 40 boats. Brilliant. Yeah, 43 boats and 44 captains, I believe. So Poland, one boat from Poland has two captains, so I don't know what that's about. Okay, well, we hope to get some interviews with sailors later Great. on down the cruise. Great. Is this something you're going to do again? Oh, yeah. I mean, look, I mean, we, we had the tall ships here a number of years ago. It's been very successful here this year, so uh, the weather's had them, so we'd be we'd certainly very interested in it. It's quite a competitive thing now, I mean a lot of international cities, or big cities, fit for the top trips now, you know, they're going to the Baltics next year, um, uh, sketch, finishing up with sketching in Poland, so um, it's, it's a, lot of, a lot of competition, a lot of interest in hosting it, so we're delighted to have it. Great, so great kudos that Dublin got it Oh yeah, yeah, and a lot of work on it, you know, and fair play to Mary, we're in Poland, the city council, they put a lot of work into delivering the event. So in terms of tourism then, yeah. what's coming up in the future that we can look forward well, there's, to? There's a lot coming up. We have Notre Dame Navy playing here next weekend. Uh, so we'll have a big crowd in from the States from that. We have um, the two All-Ireland Finals in September. We have a new festival in the city, the, the, Bra the Bram Stoker Festival, all about Dracula. It's the first time we've done that. We have that in the autumn. We're planning a big New Year's Eve party this year to tie in with the gathering, as been mentioned previously. So it'll be a great event around. And I believe the Lord Mayor, probably one person in Dublin who has to be in the city on New Year's Eve. So I'm hoping to be there. Dancing with the best of them, and of course the gathering next year, a big, a big celebration around St Patrick's Week and a lot of other events. So great! So a busy great. year for you absolutely, ahead. Absolutely, absolutely. <laughs> Lots going on. Okay. All right. Lord Mayor of Dublin, thank great. you. I'm joined thank here now by a very hard working volunteer, Joe Burke, all the way up from Tipperary. Joe, you're here for the whole weekend, just helping out, handing out maps. Yes, uh, just ha handing out, um, giving information, handing out, handing out maps, and in general, uh, you know, answering questions and looking after health and safety, make, making sure that um, if anything goes wrong, uh, you know, if there's any hassle or anything, we can to the Gardaí. We're working in cooperation with uh, the Gardaí Chicana and uh, we're back up to, to the front line with the security. Okay. Okay. Uh, and you're here for the whole weekend. No, no. Have you got yeah. an interest in, in the ships yourself? Uh, I, I was never on a ship myself. It, it's just my, my interest is in in doing something good for communities on a voluntary basis. I, I've been involved in voluntary organisations practically all of my lifetime. And uh, 
I, I feel now that we're retired, that I have something to give to those organizations and that if we have to help to do that, we should do it. And that by doing so, you're keeping our own mind active and so you're doing good for your own health and you're doing for good for, good for others as well. Good so good it's great. As well. And of course, yes. with a lot of these events, without volunteers like yourself, the events couldn't go ahead because you're giving up your time and your information and everything, yes. you know, free of charge to yes. help people. Uh, especially uh, a big event like this because uh, I understand there are thousands of volunteers. Thousands of volunteers. Navigation Officer Niall McCarthy. Niall, thanks for joining us. Um, so, the, the ship is normally docked in Cork, is that right? Well, no, our main operational headquarters is in, uh, in Hogwarts Island in, in Cork Harbour, and that's where the entire main fleet is based. Um, obviously, we take opportunities like to come alongside here into Dublin City, so we can get them. Uh, normally, our main op here is operations that are off the coast. So it's very we take out tunes like these because they are rare that we do get to come on the side and especially for something like this weekend where you've got the tall ships inside here. Um, it's such a big event. It's a huge event, a huge yeah. event. Uh, when the other ships now was down to uh, Macaronia for the start of the last leg uh, last year now we're up to the ships in Waterford and uh, we're shipping green up as well as well as the tall ships. So, it's a wee, it, the day of itself is very close to the to tall ships. Uh, as we, and how old is the LE Emer? Uh, this ship is 34. It uh, was uh, built in 1977. It was commissioned to serve This is one of our last year on service. Uh, she was a now. We've got two ships now front under construction in the UK. Crazy in the service now from May to next year. So now you're a training navigation officer. What exactly is that? Well, largely my day to day is getting concerned with uh, taking the ship to the for all the pieces that we there. Um, taking the ship in here now, we've largely used a uh, paper chart still for this ship. In the house of all the electronic units, well, uh, we are moving towards a uh, fully electronic uh, bridge now in the next couple of years. And will there be many ships still using the old navigation chart for paper charts? Just paper charts. Uh, it's moving away towards it. Yeah, we, a lot of ships would I was, uh, as part of my training now, we um, spent uh, three months with a, a merchant with a civilian company. And uh, that company now is uh, an Irish based uh, firm, which is Italian, Italian owned. And uh, they now themselves will be the one in the court electronic, but also carry uh, fully, they also fully, uh, fully paper based as well. And, uh, and maintains, uh, sustains that. So, how 
How many uh, crew can the LED Uber carry? Well, our total column now at the moment is 46. 46 on board, uh, the total set of At the moment, now 8 officers on board. So when you become the navigation officer then in terms of promotion, where can you go from there as an officer? Well within the service itself uh, there's a lot of opportunities. Uh, when my first posting in probably I know I would be as a navigation officer on one of the issues in the field. Uh we have a rotation in probably see me at sea for two years and when I turn to face the case any number of things uh, any number of areas that they and what made you sign up for this type of a job? Um, I've always wanted to join up. I've always wanted to, I've always uh, the message to see. I actually come by South and South Kerry. I've always lived on the sea. Um, it was a uh, picture actually my mother sent me to do a picture from 1991 to actually be on board this ship. You know, the symmetry of uh, years later and spent here on the bridge of the place. So yeah, so I've always wanted to do Great, great. And would most of the crew and the officers, would they be Irish? Or yes, are they yeah, that's a bit of both really, to be honest about it. Um, well, yes, obviously, we're all going to be Irish based. Uh, we do have a uh, few of us from the Dutch from the Dutch So, for any of you Irish viewers then out there watching, how does somebody get involved? How do they get confused? At the moment we are, well, we just uh, finished our last group competition now, and the last, this year now we're taking a look at 20 groups, and uh, last year we used to take some of them, we also, that's one, uh, we also need to get some high into the country, which is 21, 22 months of the program, uh, involving the uh, military studies and also uh, the civil studies, and we are currently in my second year of all the uh, bachelor science and all the science for the National Maritime College in Hall, which is a joint venture. And it was double jobbing for me from a fashion point of view. What's what's the story with the stars and the stripes and the bottom? Well, that's the star because we're the Republic. And uh -huh. uh, then my stripes then that's uh I mean I'm the time so I will be stripe and a half. This is uh, 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 the captain of the uh, 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 Got all the stripes. <laughs> <laughs> and is there any significance with the hat? The hat, actually, yes. Uh, as you see, it's uh, again the naval side, the, the old piece, uh -huh. and also here. We'll just point that out oh, towards the camera so the, uh, we can see it. Yeah. The FF difference for Queen Fall for the, but not for the yeah, Queen Fall for the <laughs> Soldiers of Destiny for the, uh, uh -huh. the original when the Irish Volunteers were formed in 1913. Um, this is the, this is the emblem they chose. Okay. Okay. And would that be the same for every officer? It would be the same for every officer. Yeah. Right. 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 the Irish Coast Guard and Jared, thanks for joining us. Yeah, welcome. You're part no of the Irish Coast yeah. Guard here at the yeah. Tall Ships Race. Yeah. So what does the Irish Coast Guard do? Well, the Irish Coast Guard, uh, their responsibility is search and rescue mainly, protect lives and we also have pollution and salvage and to preserve the environment if there's any pollution threat. But basically it's a uh, search and rescue. Okay, and is it a government body? Yeah, we're part of the Department of Transport. Okay. Tourism, okay. Of course. And what sort of questions have people been asking you here on the stand? Is okay. there a general interest in the Irish Coast Guard? What it is, yeah, but basically uh, the stand here is today is for uh, promoting safety of all. We have all these leaflets, booklets, and we can ask questions, we can ask them to the what to do, what not to do. When they go out in the water, to make sure they, they've got training, tell someone where they're going, when they're coming back, when they're due back. So it's just basically today and for this event, we're basically promoting safety in the water. And is it just offshore or is it inland as well? It's basically mostly offshore, but we also look after some of the inland lakes on the Shannon and on the River Shannon. Right. In general, it's offshore. Right, okay. And then for any of our viewers that want to maybe find out a little bit more, is there a website or something people can yeah, look onto? They can go on to www.safetyonthewater.ie or the Irish Coast Guard website. Okay, but so safetyonthewater.ie is the main one for all this safety. Okay, great. Okay, well enjoy the rest of the tall okay, ships race. Are much. you seeing lots of nice ships here? Lo lots of lovely ones, yeah. yeah, lots yeah. Of nice we were just ones, up yeah. on the LEE, we're there. It's, oh, yeah. it's been decommissioned next year, so it's kind of yeah. almost the last chance for people to go on board and have a look. It is, yeah, they're getting a great uh, following there today now. Yeah. Hughes galore on it. Like, yeah, you know. yeah. Get up so to see it before it's yeah. decommissioned. It Jared lovely. from the Irish Coast Guard, thanks very much. No problem, thank you.